So what do we do when there's a questionable call? We go to Twitter. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> see, was the uh, penalty call Good on decision. Virgil van Dyke correct? Kidding me? Look, 60% of people almost are saying no. Ale, should this even be a debate? No. It is 100% a penalty. Uh, the argument that is being made out there is that, well, he doesn't know that La Mela is behind him. Well, it's his responsibility to know. He's got to have awareness as to what is around him. He takes a full swing, and that full swing takes Lamela down. Yes, does Lamela draw the foul? Yes, he does. But there's no question in my mind this is a penalty. Now, the other question is whether Lamela was in an offside position, mm. but that's a different discussion. If we're talking about Van Dyke stack on Lamela, 100% a penalty. Shaka, how, how come 60% of people say not a penalty? Because they're... 60% of our respondents are Liverpool fans. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my, my only assumption they're here. they're not just fans, it's other pundits. Look, if, if, if you take the incident on its own for what it is, this is beyond question. That is a penalty. It, that, that's not the debate. The only debate to be had here is should the flag have gone up for Lamella being offside, as, as Ali rightly points out. Once it doesn't, whatever the linesman is thinking, and I'm not in a position to, to judge that, there's no question that Van Dijk makes contact with Lamella. Whether he knows Lamella's coming around his blind side or not, it's totally irrelevant. Mm. It's all about the contact, and there is contact. John Moss, the center ref, seems to have a pretty good look at it, yet it's the assistant ref that makes the call. Do you have any problem with that? No, I, I just would mm. like consistency across the board from assistant referees that are also there on the field to make calls and to make decisions. And if he saw the contact, then yes, raise your flag by all means. The, the, the argument, though, from Liverpool fans would be, well, raise your flag for the offside. And then mm -hmm. we're not having this discussion at all. Uh, I find it that the referees are there to do a job. And in this particular occasion, if we're evaluating just a contact on Virgin van Dijk on Lamela, they get it right. Like the discussion that some people are, are saying or suggesting is that the referee needs to go over to his linesman to ask for an explanation as to what it is. Which, on the one hand, I understand, but on, on the other... No, he, he doesn't. Referees and their assistants work in teams. So you work with the same linesman game in, game out for, for the most part. And you have a way of doing things. Referees have a way of doing things with, with, with their assistants. Now, if the understanding between this group is that if you see something and you're sure, put your flag up and I'll give it. I don't need to discuss it. So even that for me is, is a, is a non-discussion. What about the first penalty decision? Oh there's, there's this gray area. Does, is it deliberate from day on Lover? Why is there a gray area in the rule? Well, the, the gray area is because the, the, the law just states that there has to be a deliberate attempt to play the ball. And I don't think anybody can dispute that Lovren tried to play the ball. Now, for me, I feel that there needs to be, an, there needs to be intent to play the ball in that direction. Now, the counter-argument that, that I have heard um, and other referees have, have put to, to, towards me in, in, in those meetings is that let's suppose lower down the leagues, because we are going to freely assume that this doesn't happen in the Premier League, a ball comes floating over the face of the goal and somebody at the far post tries to head it but makes an absolute mess of it and hits him in the back of the head and falls nicely for a striker. He can't be judged to be offside in that circumstance. Now, of course, again, you don't expect that to happen at this level of the game, but laws, when they're written, are meant to apply to every level of football that, that there is. And as a result, I'm kind of in the minority, certainly in, in those rule-making halls, shall we call them. Uh, if we want to find blind spots in the laws and gray areas in the laws, well, we can certainly go ahead and do so. What I would say is that you cannot convince me that it would have been a better play for Dejan Lovren to just mm -hmm. fall on his backside, do absolutely nothing, and then if the ball goes through, then Harry Kane is offside and we have no issue. The fact of the matter that Dejan Lovren decides to play the ball is because he can see off his shoulder the movement of Harry Kane. So Harry Kane from an offside position is impacting the play. And at that point, he's benefiting from that very position, from the offside position. In my mind, there is no question this is offside, but I can see, as, as what Shaq is talking about, that again, this seems to be some sort of gray area, some sort of blind spot in the law in which referees are covering themselves. Anybody who's ever played the game at any sort of level looks at this play and you evaluate it for what it is, it comes out as offside.